Hello, lovebirds and comic explorers. Welcome to Insightful Jan, your cozy nook in the vast universe of comics. Today's adventure is all about love, as we count down the top 25 best-selling romance comic books. Whether you're a hopeless romantic or just curious about this heartfelt genre, our list is the perfect starting point. And here's the twist, for all you middle-aged geeks who are new to comics, we're connecting each of these charming tales to some similar movie titles. So, if a romantic movie gave you butterflies, the corresponding comic book is likely to make your heart flutter too. For each comic, I'll give you a sweet snippet of its storyline, just enough to intrigue but not spoil. Then, for a dash of cinematic spice, I'll pair it with some movies that echoes its romantic essence. From timeless love stories to modern-day romances, our list is a love letter to the genre, showcasing how comics can sweep you off your feet just as much as any romantic flick. So, get comfortable, maybe grab a box of chocolates, and let's dive into a world where love comes to life in the most colorful and captivating ways. By the end of this video, you might just find a comic book romance that resonates with your cinematic heartthrob. Let's start with position number 25. It's a good life, if you don't weaken. It's a Good Life, If You Don't Weaken by Seth is an autobiographical graphic novel published by Drawn and Quarterly. The novel is a contemplative piece that follows the author's fictionalized self, a cartoonist named Seth, on a journey of self-discovery as he becomes fixated on the work of a forgotten New Yorker cartoonist named Callow. The story is a quiet and introspective narrative that explores themes of nostalgia and the fleeting nature of time, as Seth attempts to make sense of his life and the world around him. Through his search for Callow, Seth reflects on his own artistic path and relationships, diving into his thoughts and memories, which are often tinged with a sense of longing and a desire for a simpler past. The romance elements in the novel are subtle, focusing more on the romanticization of the past and the idea of finding a kindred spirit, rather than on traditional romantic relationships. At number 24. Love Stories to Die For by Image Comics Love Stories to Die For by Image Comics features a series of one-shot stories that weave together elements of romance with various other genres, such as horror, fantasy, and science fiction. Each story takes a unique approach to the concept of love, often by placing it in extreme or unusual circumstances. The anthology format allows for a diversity of settings and characters, ranging from intergalactic love affairs to supernatural romances. These stories tend to explore the idea that love can be both beautiful and tragic, with a strong emphasis on the lengths to which individuals will go for love, sometimes with deadly consequences. The series is known for subverting typical romance tropes and offering readers a darker, more complex take on the love story genre. Number 23. Wet Moon by Oni Press Wet Moon is a graphic novel series by Sophie Campbell, published by Oni Press. The series is set in the southern gothic milieu of the fictional town of Wet Moon, where a group of college students navigate through life's complexities. The story is heavily characterized by its moody atmosphere and a diverse cast of characters who are often outsiders in some way. The narrative delves into their daily interactions, relationships, personal struggles, and the dark secrets that lie beneath the town's surface. The southern gothic setting provides a rich backdrop for the unfolding romantic entanglements and dramas, and Campbell's storytelling is noted for its attention to the nuances of character development and interpersonal dynamics. Wet Moon touches on themes of identity, friendship, and the pains of growing up, all woven into the eerie and atmospheric world that Campbell has created. At 22. Pride and Prejudice Graphic Novel Adaptation Pride and Prejudice brings to life Jane Austen's beloved novel in a visual format. The story is set in the early 19th century and follows Elizabeth Bennet, a witty and independent young woman, and her family. Elizabeth navigates the intricacies of manners, upbringing, morality, and marriage in the society of the landed gentry of the British Regency. Amidst the pressure to marry and secure social standing, Elizabeth meets Mr. Darcy, a wealthy and proud man who initially dismisses her family as not as equal. Through a series of social events, miscommunications, and mutual misunderstandings, Elizabeth and Darcy come to learn that first impressions can be misleading. The novel and its adaptations deftly explore themes of love, reputation, class, and the need for personal growth before true love can be realized. Number 21. Jane Eyre Graphic Novel Adaptation 
The Jane Eyre adaptations transformed Charlotte Bronte's classic novel into a visual narrative, preserving the story's exploration of themes such as love, morality, independence, and the critique of social class and gender roles. The story follows Jane Eyre from her difficult childhood as an orphan living with her cruel aunt and then at a harsh boarding school to her position as a governess at Thornfield Hall. At Thornfield, Jane meets the mysterious and brooding owner, Mr. Rochester, with whom she develops a complex relationship. As their bond deepens, secrets from Rochester's past emerge, presenting moral dilemmas and challenging the course of Jane's life and her quest for love, respect, and a sense of belonging. Position 20. Hopeless Savages by Oni Press Hopeless Savages is a comic book series written by Jen Van Meter and published by Oni Press. The series follows the lives of the Hopeless Savage family, particularly the children, who are the offspring of two former punk rock stars. It's a blend of family drama, romance, and coming-of-age stories, all set against the backdrop of a punk rock ethos. The narrative captures the quirky and loving family dynamics, the clash of subcultural identity with mainstream society, and the personal journeys of the characters as they navigate love, life, and the music scene. Each member of the Hopeless Savage family embodies a different aspect of punk culture and deals with unique personal challenges, from romantic relationships to career choices. Number 19. Love and Rockets by Fantagraphics Books Love and Rockets is a groundbreaking comic book series created by the Hernandez brothers, Jamie and Gilbert, with contributions from their brother Mario. It's known for its richly detailed characters and slice-of-life storytelling that intertwines with surrealist and science fiction elements. The series is split primarily between two narratives, Gilbert's Palomar stories, which revolve around a fictional Central American village and its inhabitants, and Jamie's Locust stories, which follow a group of primarily Latina characters living in the Los Angeles area. The series is lauded for its realistic portrayal of life's complexities, including issues of race, class, and gender. The characters are well-developed, and their relationships are depicted with emotional depth and authenticity. Over the years, Love and Rockets has touched on various genres and themes, but its core remains the exploration of the human condition through the lens of its diverse cast. At 18. True Love by Eclipse Comics True Love is a graphic novel anthology that presents a contemporary and realistic view of romance. It explores various aspects of love and relationships, from the rush of new romance to the complexities of long-term partnerships. The stories often focus on the emotional growth of the characters as they navigate through the highs and lows of being in love, dealing with issues such as commitment, fidelity, communication, and personal identity. The anthology format allows for a diverse range of stories and experiences, providing a multifaceted look at what it means to love and be loved. It's a reflection of the nuances and varied experiences that come with modern relationships, offering readers a chance to see parts of their own lives and loves in the stories presented. At 17, Scott Pilgrim, another one by Oni Press. The Scott Pilgrim series, created by Brian Lee O'Malley and published by Oni Press, is a highly stylized narrative that follows the life of Scott Pilgrim, a slacker and part-time musician who falls in love with Ramona Flowers, an enigmatic girl with a complicated past. To be with her, Scott must defeat her seven evil exes in combat, with each battle drawing on the conventions of video games and comic books to create a unique and dynamic storytelling experience. The series is set in Toronto, Canada, and is characterized by its quirky humor, distinctive art style, and the blending of reality with fantastical elements. As Scott battles each of Ramona's exes, he learns more about her history and confronts his own shortcomings. The series is as much about Scott's personal growth as it is about his romantic pursuits, and it deftly explores themes of love, relationships, self-identity, and the complexities of young adulthood. At 16, Blue is the Warmest Color by Arsenal Pulp Press Blue is the Warmest Color by Julie Morrow is a tender graphic novel that follows the story of a young woman named Clementine, who is navigating the challenges of adolescence. Her life takes a transformative turn when she meets Emma, a confident young woman with blue hair, who is openly lesbian. As Clementine becomes closer to Emma, she begins to understand and accept her own desires, which contradict the heterosexual norms of her society. The graphic novel is a deep exploration of identity and sexuality, chronicling Clementine's journey of self-discovery and the evolving relationship with Emma. It portrays the intensity of first love and the heartache that can come with it. 
The story deals with themes such as the search for personal identity, the struggle for acceptance, and the societal pressures faced by the LGBTQ community. It's a poignant depiction of emotional maturity and the impact that a significant relationship can have on personal growth. At position 15, Sweet Tooth by Vertigo and DC Comics. Sweet Tooth is a comic book series created by Jeff Lemire and published under DC Comics' Vertigo imprint. The series is set in a post-apocalyptic future where a pandemic known as The Affliction has decimated most of humanity. The story centers on Gus, a young boy who is part human, part deer, living in isolation with his father deep in the woods. After his father dies, Gus sets out on a journey across America to find answers about his origins in the world that has fallen into ruin. As Gus travels, he encounters other, hybrid children like himself, as well as the remaining fragments of humanity, some of whom are benevolent, while others see the hybrids as a threat or a commodity to be exploited. The narrative weaves together themes of survival, the innate human need for connection, and the innocence of youth in a world that has lost its way. The romantic elements in Sweet Tooth are more nuanced, focusing on the bonds and relationships that develop between characters in their search for hope and companionship in a bleak world. The series challenges the notion of what it means to be human and the capacity for love and compassion in the face of despair. At 14, Red Sonja by Dynamite Entertainment. Red Sonja, published by Dynamite Entertainment, is a comic book series that follows the titular character, a fierce and fearless warrior woman in a fantasy setting. Known for her red hair, sword fighting skills, and chainmail armor, Red Sonja is a formidable fighter who travels through various lands seeking vengeance and justice. While the series primarily focuses on her action-packed adventures, it also explores her romantic relationships, providing a glimpse into her vulnerabilities and her capacity for love and intimacy. These relationships often serve to humanize her and offer a counterpoint to her often violent and vengeful warrior's path. Throughout her quests, Sonia encounters allies and enemies alike, and her interactions with them deepen the reader's understanding of her character. Her romantic life is portrayed with complexity, showing that her strength as a warrior is matched by her emotional depth. Number 13. The Now of Brown by Self-Made Hero The Now of Brown by Glenn Dillon published by Self-Made Hero, is a graphic novel that follows the life of Now Brown, a young woman of mixed race living in London, who works at a toy store while trying to launch her career as an illustrator. Now suffers from obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, specifically from intrusive thoughts and fears that she will harm others, a symptom of the disorder often less discussed and understood. The narrative intertwines Now's journey with elements of romance as she meets and develops a relationship with a washing machine repairman named Gregory. As they grow closer, Now struggles with the challenges posed by her condition, and the story delicately balances the themes of love and psychological struggle. Dylan's work is notable for its rich, surreal illustrations that visually represent Now's internal experiences and the whimsical yet profound nature of her journey. The novel is as much a deep dive into the mind of someone living with a mental health condition as it is a story about human connection and the redemptive power of love and understanding. Number 12. Twilight, Yen Press. The Twilight graphic novel adaptations by Yen Press bring to life Stephanie Meyer's famous saga through visual storytelling. The story is centered around Bella Swan, a teenage girl who moves to the small town of Forks, Washington, and falls in love with Edward Cullen, a vampire who appears to be her age but is actually over a century old. Their romance is complicated not only by the dangers of the supernatural world, but also by the intense attraction they have for each other despite the risks Edward's vampire nature poses. The graphic novels capture the essence of the original books, focusing on the relationship between Bella and Edward, while also delving into the broader world of vampires and werewolves that inhabit the series. Themes of love, belonging, identity, and the tension between desire and danger are explored in depth. Position 11. Sunstone Image Comics. Sunstone is a graphic novel series by Sei Japan Sejik that explores the romantic and deep emotional connection between two women, Ally and Lisa, who embark on a relationship that begins with a shared interest in BD Sim. The series is known for its mature themes, combining elements of erotica with a strong focus on character development and storytelling. The narrative of Sunstone is as much about the BD Sim lifestyle as it is about the characters' growth and exploration of their relationship. The story delves into how their initial arrangement, which starts as a sexual journey based on mutual kinks, 
evolves into a profound and intimate relationship. The comic series stands out for its portrayal of BD Sim as a normal, safe, and consensual practice, and it addresses the importance of trust and communication in such relationships. CJK's work has been praised for its realistic and respectful depiction of the BD Sim community, breaking down stereotypes and misconceptions. Sunstone also touches on themes of self-acceptance, the complexities of friendships and romantic relationships, and the courage it takes to reveal one's vulnerabilities to another person. Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you found the list interesting and it's adding value to your day, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow and allows me to bring more content like this to you. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing is the best way to stay updated with our latest videos. Plus, it's completely free and just a click away. Also, make sure to ring that notification bell. This way, you'll get notified every time we upload a new video, so you won't miss any of our exciting updates. Thanks for your support, and now, let's dive back into our list. Entering our top 10 list of romantic bestsellers. At position number 10, Heartthrobs. Heartthrobs was a romance comic series originally published by Quality Comics and later by DC Comics. It captured the essence of the golden age of romance comics, typically featuring an array of stories that dealt with the joys and sorrows of love. Each issue contains several short stories focusing on young women and their trials and tribulations in love, reflecting the social norms and romantic ideals of the time. The stories often revolved around themes of longing, heartbreak, and the pursuit of true love, and they ranged from light-hearted tales of first love to more serious narratives about the complexities of relationships. The comic sought to evoke strong emotional responses from its readers, with characters facing obstacles such as social class differences, war, misunderstandings, and personal dilemmas. At number 9. My Love by Marvel Comics My Love by Marvel Comics is a romance anthology series that was published during the 1960s and 1970s. This period was known for its significant cultural shifts, and the stories within My Love reflect the evolving attitudes towards love, relationships, and gender roles of that time. The series offered a variety of romantic narratives, from light-hearted courtships to more complex, dramatic entanglements. These stories often dealt with themes such as the search for meaningful connections, the challenges of romantic relationships, and the joy and heartache they can bring. The series showcased the talents of several writers and artists who brought to life the intricacies of love and relationships against the backdrop of the changing social dynamics, such as the women's liberation movement and the sexual revolution. Number 8. Lovelorn American Comics Group Lovelorn, produced by American Comics Group, is a comic series that encapsulates the essence of the 1950s romance genre. During this post-war period, many stories depicted the pursuit of love and the sorrow of heartbreak, reflecting the societal norms and emotional landscapes of the time. The comics often explored traditional romantic themes such as courtship, unrequited love, passion, and the obstacles to true love that individuals had to overcome. The stories in Lovelorn typically revolved around young women and men as they navigated the complexities of relationships, societal expectations, and personal desires. The narratives would often resolve in moral lessons, which was a common characteristic of the genre during that era. At 7. Saga Image Comics Saga is an epic space opera-slash-fantasy comic book series written by Brian K. Vaughn and illustrated by Fiona Staples, published by Image Comics. The narrative is centered on Alana and Marco, two lovers from different extraterrestrial races whose people are engaged in a devastating war. Alana's race, the winged inhabitants of the planet Landfall, are in conflict with Marco's people, who are from Landfall's moon, reef, and possess magical abilities. The story begins with the birth of Alana and Marco's daughter, Hazel, who occasionally narrates the series. Despite being on opposite sides of an endless galactic war, Alana and Marco fall in love and flee together. The series chronicles their struggle to care for their daughter and keep their new family safe amidst a universe of dangers. The family is pursued by various factions including their own races, freelance bounty hunters, and a robot prince with a television for a head, illustrating the absurdity and brutality of the conflict. Saga is known for its imaginative storytelling, complex characters, and moral ambiguity. It explores themes of family, love, identity, and the consequences of war. The comic has been praised for its rich visual storytelling, character development, 
and the way it blends the personal tale of Alana and Marco with wider political and cultural conflicts. Number 6. Blankets Top Shelf Productions Blankets is a graphic novel by Craig Thompson published by Top Shelf Productions. It's an intricate exploration of the author's early life presented in a deeply personal and poignant narrative. The story is a coming-of-age tale that examines Thompson's upbringing in a strict, religious household, his first experience with love, and the complex relationship with his younger brother. The graphic novel delves into themes of faith, love, loss, and the journey towards self-discovery. It's about Thompson's relationship with a girl named Raina, whom he meets at a winter church camp. The story beautifully captures the intensity and innocence of first love and the transition from youth to adulthood. The novel also addresses the struggles with spirituality and the conflict between personal beliefs and the expectations of the religious community. Blankets is celebrated for its expressive art and the way it captures the subtleties of human emotions and interactions. It's not just a story about first love, but also about how family dynamics and beliefs can shape one's identity and future. Position 5. Strangers in Paradise by Abstract Studio Strangers in Paradise is a comic book series by Terry Moore, published by Abstract Studio. The series is known for its character-driven plot and emotionally rich storytelling. It follows the lives of two women, Francine and Kachu, and their friend David, as they navigate the complexities of their interpersonal relationships. The narrative delves into themes of love and friendship, often blurring the lines between the two. It's a story that defies simple categorization, as it includes elements of romance, with a focus on the evolving relationship between Francine and Kachu, comedy, through its witty dialogue and humorous situations, and drama. With moments that delve into darker and more serious subject matter, the series is praised for its realistic portrayal of characters, including their flaws and growth over time. It covers a wide range of topics such as sexuality, identity, and societal expectations. The friendships and romantic entanglements of the characters are depicted with nuance, showing both the joyous highs and the heartbreaking lows that can come with such deep connections. Number 4. Alex Plus Ada Image Comics Alex Plus Ada is a comic book series published by Image Comics, created by Jonathan Luna and Sarah Vaughn. The story is set in a near future where artificial intelligence and robotics have become integrated into daily human life. The series follows Alex, a young man who is given an advanced AI robot named Ada as a gift. Initially resistant to the idea of a robot companion, Alex's attitude changes as he forms a complex and evolving relationship with Ada. The story explores the boundaries between human and artificial life, questioning the nature of consciousness and emotion. As Ada begins to become self-aware, the series delves into her fight for autonomy and the societal implications of AI entities gaining independence and personhood. The comic tackles themes such as the ethics of artificial intelligence, the quest for identity, and the meaning of love when one party is an AI. Entering the Top 3 Mills & Boone Adaptations by Harlequin Mills & Boone, a romance imprint of British publisher Harlequin UK LTD, has a rich history of publishing romance novels that cater to various romantic subgenres. Founded in 1908 by Gerald Rusgrove Mills and Charles Boone, the company initially was a general publisher but gradually moved towards escapist fiction for women, particularly in the 1930s, eventually specializing in romance novels. In 1971, the company was acquired by the Canadian company Harlequin Enterprises, which was its North American distributor. The graphic adaptations of Mills and Boone's popular romance novels encapsulate the same essence that has made the print novels widely beloved captivating love stories, dramatic conflicts, and invariably happy endings. Catering to fans of classic romance literature, each month, over a hundred new Mills and Boone titles are released, covering a range of romantic subgenres and varying in explicitness, setting, and style, yet they maintain a familiar comfort that meets reader expectations. Mills and Boone has innovated over the years, particularly with their marketing strategies. They have been known for their eye-catching covers with romantic imagery, designed to attract readers. The imprint's history of strategic marketing goes back to the 1930s when they started to focus on circulating libraries during the Depression years, enabling them to publish over 160 titles annually during that decade. The company's success continued into the modern era with their shift to paperback in the 1960s and their eventual sale to Harlequin Enterprises in 1971. 
The publisher has consistently been a significant part of the romance fiction market in Britain, accounting for almost three quarters of the romance paperbacks published there. In the UK alone, Mills and Boone has over 3 million regular readers annually. Their books are known for being available through a combination of subscription and retail sales, though they are typically available for purchase for a limited time. Mills and Boone has a number of current imprints, each with a specific theme and style, such as desire, heroes, historical, medical, modern, and true love, among others. They also have ebook-only imprints like Vintage, American Romance, and Love Inspired. As of 2012, the publisher releases more ebooks than physical books and has noted significant growth in digital revenues. One of the appeals of digital reading, according to Mills and Boone's digital and marketing director, is the privacy it affords, allowing readers to consume romance novels without public scrutiny. The publisher's centenary year in 2008 was marked by various events and exhibitions, including a 90-minute drama broadcast by BBC4 titled Consuming Passion, 100 Years of Mills and Boone. This celebration highlighted the imprint's longevity and impact on the romance genre. While Mills and Boone has faced criticism for predictable plots and a simple writing style, fans often cite these very attributes as reasons for their loyalty to the brand. The imprint has evolved over time, with its characters shifting to meet contemporary expectations while maintaining some traditional elements like the alpha male hero. Number 2. Young Love Prize Comics Young Love was a romance comic book series that followed the earlier success of Young Romance, another series by the same creators, Joe Simon and Jack Kirby. This series was one of the earliest romance comics, published by Crestwood Slash Prize initially and was later sold to DC Comics, marking it as a significant title in the golden age of romance comics. The series started in February 1949 and ran for 73 issues until December 1956. After a brief hiatus and a renaming interlude with All for Love, Young Love resumed under its original title in 1960 and continued for 21 issues until June 1963. At this point, Crestwood Slash Prize sold the title to DC Comics, which continued the series for an additional 88 issues from 1963 to 1977. The stories in Young Love focused on melodramatic love stories, often exploring the emotional struggles and joys of Young Love capturing the hearts of readers with tales that resonated with the experiences of youth and romance. The comic series was created amid a surge of imitators in the romance genre, following the success of Young Romance, which had sold millions of copies. Young Love itself sold well, marking its place as a beloved series among readers. However, the entire genre faced challenges during the mid-1950s due to the broader criticisms of the comic book industry, influenced by the seduction of the innocent. Claims and the subsequent Senate subcommittee hearings on juvenile delinquency. Despite this, Young Love managed to continue its publication, albeit with declining sales until Crestwood Slash Prize left the comic book business in 1963, at which point DC Comics took over. Notably, the series won the 1969 Alley Award for Best Romance Title, signifying its recognition within the comic book industry and its impact on the genre. The issues from number 39 to number 56 were reprinted in 2012 in Showcase Presents Young Love Volume 1, allowing new readers to experience the classic stories. And at position number 1 in our top 25 best-selling romance comics and graphic novels list, Young Romance Prize Comics. Young Romance was a groundbreaking comic book series that originated the romance genre in comics. Created by the legendary duo Joe Simon and Jack Kirby, it was first published in September 1947 by Crestwood Publications under their prize comics imprint and ran for 124 issues until June 1963. The series is credited with setting the standard for romantic storytelling in comic books, with narratives that reflected the social norms and aspirations of the time. The publication history of Young Romance is quite notable. It began as a bi-monthly release, but due to strong sales and demand, from issue number 13 in September 1949, it shifted to a monthly schedule. This continued for five years until the title reverted to a bi-monthly schedule with issue number 73 in October 1954, which lasted for 17 years, missing only one month, August 1963. When the title changed publishers from Crestwood Slash Prize to DC Comics, under DC Comics, Young Romance continued for another 83 issues, ending with issue number 208 in December 1975. 
The series was a staple in the romance genre and featured various creators over the years, including writer Steve Englehart during its DC run. The covers of Young Romance and other Simon and Kirby romance comics varied between photographic covers, often featuring film starlets, and regular artwork typically produced by the creators themselves. For example, Young Love Volume 1, issue number 4, featured a cover picture of MGM starlet Joy Lansing. This image was later reused for Eclipse Comics' 1988 Real Love Collection, which reprinted a selection of Simon and Kirby romance stories. The series has been reprinted multiple times. In 1988, Eclipse Books reprinted some of the stories under the title Real Love. DC Comics also reprinted the first issue of Young Romance in 2000 as part of its Millennium Edition reprints. Furthermore, Fantagraphics Books released Young Romance, the best of Simon and Kirby's romance comics in 2012, and Young Romance 2, the early Simon and Kirby romance comics in 2014. Offering new generations a glimpse into the early days of the romance genre and comics. If you've liked this content and found it valuable, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any recommendations for romantic comic books or graphic novels, which were not on this list, but should have been, then please feel free to add them in the comments below. Don't forget to check out our other videos with top 25 best-selling comic genres from our Getting Started playlist. See you later middle-aged geeks and remember, Reading comic books is not only for kids. There are genres for every age and preference.